I assume my, my task today is to provide you with a bigger picture as far as we've uh, advanced in this meetup. We discussed business models, we discussed our Eurocentric views we have about identities, and I would like to give you a broader picture and why identities matter in the broad sense or globally. So I'm Victor, I'm working for the GIZ. For those of you who are not familiar with the GIZ, we are the German US aid. Uh, my 24,000 colleagues and I work in 130 countries and we are currently pursuing 1,500 projects approximately. Um, those are varying. We, we cover a wide range and one of those uh, projects that we have and that I'm currently working on is the GIZ blockchain lab. We're based here down the road at the Impact Hub and we are focusing on blockchain applications in the international development context. And this provides us with a very unique position as we don't <laughs> tend to have an ICO, we are not going to sell you some, some tokens. So we're somewhere in the middle as an honest broker, we can talk to governments as well as the startup ecosystem, I think both sides are happy to, to discuss ideas with us. <coughs> and our starting point was and still is uh, the so-called sustainable development goals for the United Nations. There are 17 of them and every project that we are trying to pursue is based upon in, in, in any way to, to kind of uh, leverage the potentials we see in blockchains for those sustainable development goals. And by now we started, or maybe let me start another way, we started out with about 150 ideas we had that might have added some sort of value to the, those sustainable development goals. Currently we're pursuing more or less 15 of them in different stages. Some are near pilots, some are still in a very conceptualizing phase. And identities matter in most of them, and I will elaborate on, on this fact in a second. Uh, but I wanted to give you some, some definition of identification credentials, not ideas, not IDs, not passports, but really identification credentials. So when we look at sustainable development goals 16.9, there is actually this uh, phrase that states that by 2030, everyone on our planet should have some sort of identification. Um, also, this is something which is put in the UN Charter of 1949, I assume, so that everyone has the right to be recognized as the person he actually is before the law or before state authorities. And I really like the World Economic Forum definition of identity because basically it combines two, two different things. One, individual attributes, and the other thing, determine transactions done um, with those individual attributes. And we all know blockchains are a great way to engage transactions. So this is maybe the sweet spot we're targeting. And we all know identity matters, and this is the global view I want to provide you, uh, because there are about 1.2 billion people not having any sort of identity globally currently and 71% uh, of births are not registered immediately. So this might uh, yeah, prevent many people from ever getting an identity in the first place. 46% of all children under five years in sub-Saharan African countries don't have any sort of ID. And when we look at the so-called developed world in the US, for example, identity theft victims lost about 15.4 billion US dollars in 2014. And I mean, this is something which already came up. Online businesses are very much threatened by identity theft and 82% of them have reported problems with fake users in some way or the other. This does not have to mean that people actually lost money with it, but fake users uh, yeah, are, are a thing. So, coming back to those sustainable development goals and maybe elaborate why identity matters, if you take a look at them basically in every uh, sustainable development goal, there is this window we need to fill with identities. If you want to provide someone with financial services, this person needs to provide some sort of identity to 
gain access to those services. If you want to um, increase education, quality education, sustainable development goal four, you need to make sure that people acquire uh, certificates that prove that they actually visited a university, which is a huge thing, not in Europe, but well, in East, Eastern Europe or the former Soviet uh, uh, Union republics, uh, this is, this is an, a major issue and this is why we're targeting a project in Mongolia, for example, where we want to combine identities with education credentials. Um, yeah, and I will not elaborate in depth, but I mean, I think you get the point. This thing matter. And we talked about self-sovereign identities, which you find on the left side, uh, which are a great thing, but we think of self-sovereign identities maybe more suitable for developed countries. We will not, or we are not dismissing the idea of uh, implementing them in some developing countries, but I think the idea of giving some authorities the power to issue third-party identities like state ideas is, is something that we also want to uh, push actually because one goal of the DIZ is to build up strong institutions, strong trustworthy institutions in our partner countries. And I mean, I'm trusting the German government to provide me with an idea and it would be great to be in Madagascar and trust the Madagascar government to provide an idea and our role as the DIZ would be to kind of build up those ministries and authorities to provide such ideas. Uh, ideas. So maybe to sum this up, uh, um, Ali already told you about self sovereign identities. Those are the 10 guiding principles of them. Uh, you, you might be well aware, aware of them. Um, as I will be rushing out in some minutes, I would really like to uh, give you my, my email address uh, or you can follow me. 36 followers by now, so you will be in a lead group. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, just follow our GIZ blockchain lab, which are, uh, and yeah, feel free to approach me at any time. Thank you.